Our apostolate in Africa this year, like every other year, has known out on the tides with accomplishments and challenges intertwined in the unprecedented pandemic atmosphere. The advent of COVID-19 pandemic hit some missions so hard that they drew close to a total shutdown. But nothing daunts the Claritian missionaries, and as such, the various prefects of apostolate dared ever more to keep the missionary work in progress. This presentation will thus highlight a panoramic view of the apostolate in Africa's major organisms, key note being on their particularities as well as the stiff challenges faced. In the province of East Nigeria, schools and education are of predominant interest. Primary motivating factors for this key attention to education include the deplorability of education in Nigeria, incessant strikes affecting the normal learning process, dichotomy between the intellectual and moral orientations of students in Nigerian schools, corruption and cultism infesting schools, the decadence of conducive academic environments, etc. The Claritian mission here is to respond to these challenges and exploit the educational forum as an opportune tool for the apostolate and the ministry, especially through human and spiritual formation. Ghana's apostolate is primarily based on the parochial ministry. The ministries are engaged in catechetical instructions, the youth ministry, children welfare, schools and one hospital chaplaincy, most of which they administer as part of the parochial ministry. Over in Chad, the country represents harsh climatic conditions and a poor Muslim-dominated population. More so, the illiteracy rate stands at 75% and the country's population is exposed to rampant illness and a high mortality rate. The approach of the missionaries present in the southern part of Chad is mainly an economic outreach to the sick, widows, and single mothers, this being mainly in goods of subsistence. Very similar conditions persist in Maiduguri of northern Nigeria as regards the climate, health, and socioeconomic conditions of the population. Likewise, the missionary activity is not quite different from that in Chad. The Charles Luanga Independent Delegation of East Africa spreads her apostolic mission over three countries, Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. In all three countries, the parochial ministry and evangelization are the prime apostolic activities. The management of schools and education in these countries are equally of great importance. Meanwhile, Dispensaries and holistic health centers are not to be overlooked in the delegation's apostolate. The situation in Father Sifre Independent Delegation is quite peculiar. Being a young delegation taking baby steps in joint missionary exploits, Equatorial Guinea and Gabon were hit with the hurdles of the COVID-19 pandemic. The quasi-totality of their activities being hampered the way out to save the mission was a dauntless outrage to the sick and the poor, especially the corona-stricken patients. In the independent delegation of Cameroon, the Bible apostolate has been a distinctive missionary activity with increasing outlets in Africa. The Claritian publications of Cameroon makes use of audiovisual tools for evangelization in the English and French languages, reaching at least 200,000 people every week. The delegation's apostolate also covers the parochial ministry the youth apostolate, and a remarkable engagement of lay Claritians. 
it is worth noting that there are several difficult and peripheral missions, most of whose predicaments have been accentuated by the sociocultural and political divide across the Cameroon National Territory. Hence, the missionaries' response to the plight of the internally displaced persons, refugees and victims of the COVID-19 pandemic are multidimensional. While the Mission Procure develops projects to help them obtain socio-economic independence, the justice, peace and integrity of creation and the solidarity and mission delegations are relentless in the fight against sickness, poverty, and hunger, and in bringing aid to the difficult missions. Free education is being offered to pupils and students in the war-torn northwest region of Cameroon. It is in this same light that the Golden Jubilee projects oscillate around education with the birth of schools, St. Claret Bilingual Academy in Yasa Douala and in Santa Pamenda. <music>